In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upscale your images in Diffusion V. So you can have your image go from this to this, also including a little bit more detail in the overall image. The standard upscaler in Diffusion V will make your image larger, however, it won't add any additional details to the image. So you can notice the face has different lines. It's basically just a one-to-one -one copy of the original. So here's the original in the middle here. So we notice the line in the face and then compare it to the one on the left here. So, and then again, the original in the middle here, the smaller one, the details in the arm from the standard way to upscale in Diffusion V on the right here. And then if we look at the details in the arm versus the new method in Diffusion B. So it will upscale your image, but also add some new details. To do this, let's dive into Diffusion B. So the default upscaler was the example we saw on the right, this one. However, to add more details to your illustration, what we're gonna use is essentially image to image. So first, let's find an image we want to upscale. So for this, let's upscale this image of Buzz Lightyear. So I like the overall shape, the form, everything looks good to me. So what we're gonna do is click on actions. So you can do this with whatever image you want. I'm just using this as an example. But we're gonna send this to image to image with parameters. In my image to image at the very top here, you'll see the image is there, but we need to save this one more time. So I'm going to go back into my history. So I'm going to go back to where I have it. Uh, you can either go from the history or where you generate the image. I'm just going to save this on my desktop so it's easy to find. Now that I have it saved on my desktop, again, it's just the same image, but I'm going to use control net. So scrolling down, now I'm going to replace this Deadpool image. You can either drag and drop or click the change button. And I'm going to use this as the guide for our control net. So you can use scribble, tile, or line art. For this, I'm going to use line art. I mean, you can use all these, honestly, body pose and stuff. But for this example, I'm going to use line art. So what this is doing is telling image to image, hey, I want you to use this top image as your guide. And I also want you to, uh, on the bottom here, it's also saying, hey, I want use, you to use line art to uh, emphasize whatever I choose it, whether it's the body pose, or use it as a depth map, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just, it's telling Diffusion V to really, really focus on this image. And you can say how much of this you want to apply. So I'm gonna say 0.4. I want to also automatically generate a control net. Um, and we're gonna adjust a few settings here. Input strength, because I have, you know, two identical images here, I can actually lower that down a little bit. If I had this up too high, it's not gonna make any changes. It's essentially gonna be like the regular upscaler. It's not gonna add any more detail to it. Uh, so I'm gonna have this uh, keep around like 18. And I'm going to increase the resolution. So I'm gonna make this a larger size. Let's, let's max it out, shall we? Let's do this. So I'm gonna max it out. Doing that, it's also gonna take longer for it to uh, make the image and I'm also going to increase the sampling steps So again because I have this set as my reference image as well as the control knit reference uh, It's going to really look at this keep the overall form shape and everything But it's going to add additional details you can play around with your guidance scale uh, Again, it's like how much do you want the original images to influence this illustration? But I'm going to leave this how it is essentially just increasing the resolution and the number of steps. I think that is good for me. You know, you can play around with how many steps you want. I can bump this up to 45 if I wanted to, but that should be good. So now I'm gonna press generate and it's gonna take a little while to do. So I'll get back to you guys when this is all done. So I'm not quite sure why I didn't record. So I'm gonna do this again, but here's the original image here of our Buzz Lightyear that we started with. And after running it through image to image, it looks like this. So there's a lot more detail in the armor. Uh, the color is a lot more accurate to Buzz Lightyear. The face doesn't look, uh, you know, amazing. So this is where the artistic skills actually come into play and you actually need to add 
put in some work, you know, kind of sit there twiddling your thumbs. <laughs> so whether that means taking this into Photoshop, Photopea, Procreate, whatever it may be, uh, whatever you like using to draw in, I would honestly go in, paint in the face a bit more, and maybe even throw it back into image to image with the updated face and do, uh, you know, see what the resu results look like that way. So again, here's the original. And the reason I like doing the image to image method again is when you run it through a standard upscaler. So if I were to go to, uh, let's see, send to upscaler, and you don't have a lot of options, it's just this one for now. It may change as time goes on. And if I just run that, it's literally gonna take this image and just to make it bigger. So it didn't add any more details. It didn't, you know, modify any colors. Uh, some of the lines it made a little sharper. So if I were to try to get the original image and expand it. So if I'm just taking this image and like literally making it bigger by expanding it like that. So they're the same size, because essentially that's what this did. Uh, it smoothed out the lines so I don't get this like little, um, I forget what this is called. Uh, not kerning. There's a name for this in, in video. It'll come to you later. Anyway, you walk these little rugged lines on the edge here. It smoothed it out. So it did that, but it's not adding more detail. But if we run it through the image to image method, not only does it make it larger in size, but it also smooths out those lines so we don't get that at all. And from here, I would probably run it through another upscaler. Uh, there's a free one that I showed you uh, in a previous video called Tencent. Uh, dot com and with that sometimes it also fixes faces for this example it probably wouldn't have enough material to do that but it would make it sharper so that's another way to increase the sharpness of your image the clarity of your image and also make it larger I if I don't use that I actually use um, topaz uh, gigapixel and it's a AI image enlargening tool uh, that works pretty well but there's a, there's a lot of different options out there for you. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. If you have any questions or comments about how to do this, uh, and I didn't cover it in the video, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, this is just a really cool way to upscale an image that gives you more detail versus just using your regular image upscaler because it doesn't add any more detail to it. Uh, again, this will take a little bit more time, but you can see the results here. All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. Uh, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.